In the enigmatic landscape of 1967 television, a singular series emerged, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. The Prisoner, a cerebral blend of espionage and existentialism, has endured as a symbol of storytelling innovation and cultural resonance. Its timeless allure prompts reflection on the enduring qualities that cement it as an everlasting emblem of the medium. For those fortunate enough to have encountered this enigmatic narrative, the question arises. When was the first time you watched this television series? Whether a recent discovery or a nostalgic revisit, The Prisoner's impact spans generations, inviting viewers to explore the depths of its thought-provoking narrative and unconventional approach to storytelling. As we delve into random facts about this seminal series, consider your most cherished memory or personal experience associated with The Prisoner. What moments left an indelible imprint on your psyche? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear your unique perspective on this television masterpiece. Now let's unravel some captivating insights into The Prisoner, a series that captivated audiences and continues to resonate across the fabric of television history. The Prisoner, a TV series from 1967, faced a delayed release in North Wales, reaching the region only in 1970 when HTV acquired it due to NEV's regional franchise intricacies. This unique situation set the stage for the show's mysterious and unconventional journey. Co-creator George Markstein, delving into the enigma of The Prisoner, later authored a book titled The Cooler. Drawing inspiration from a real-life facility akin to the village, this remote British establishment during WW2 aimed to safeguard individuals possessing sensitive information. Markstein's novel sheds light on the parallels between fact and fiction, providing a deeper understanding of the series' intriguing concept in crafting the eerie and distinctive movements of the rovers, the show's mysterious entities, an unconventional approach was taken. These entities were filled with a peculiar combination of air, helium, and water, contributing to their uncanny and otherworldly presence. The Prisoner unfolds with a blend of delayed regional broadcasts, real-life inspirations, and innovative production techniques. These aspects form the backdrop of a series that continues to captivate audiences with its enigmatic narrative and unconventional storytelling. In a unique twist to the unconventional narrative of the series, the costumes donned by the characters in The Prisoner were not crafted by a costume designer, but were, in fact, the sports uniforms of Mill Hill School in North London. Patrick McGuhan, the series' enigmatic lead, found inspiration for the show while residing in a house opposite the school. The eccentric selection of blazers and ties in the school's distinctive chocolate and white colors became the iconic wardrobe for the characters. McGuhan's connection to the school extended beyond aesthetics as he developed a friendship with actor Ian Carmichael, with the duo often seen strolling the school grounds with their matching Labradors The Prisoner and Bertie Wooster. This unexpected connection to the school's sports attire not only adds a layer of intrigue to the series, but also reflects McGuhan's immersive approach to the project. The Mill Hill uniforms, initially mundane school apparel, became symbolic elements in the mysterious and surreal world of The Prisoner. Interestingly, McGuhan's aversion to on-screen romance took a familial turn in the episode Chimes of Big Ben. In a scene where he appears to express affection towards Nadia, it is revealed that the character is none other than McGuhan's own daughter, adorned in a wig. This intentional casting choice adds a personal touch to the series, emphasizing McGuhan's commitment to maintaining a particular atmosphere within The Prisoner. Furthermore, McGuhan's dedication to the series led to a rather unusual decision. In order to accommodate his filming commitments for Ice Station Zebra, he arranged for another actor to step into the role of number six for one episode. This strategic move allowed McGuhan to temporarily distance himself from the character, showcasing the lengths to which he went to ensure the series' success. The Prisoner's behind-the-scenes anecdotes, from its distinctive costumes rooted in a North London school to the personal casting choices, offer a glimpse into the meticulous craftsmanship behind the 1967 TV series. These details contribute to the show's lasting legacy, captivating audiences with its enigmatic narrative and unconventional storytelling. The Prisoner, a groundbreaking TV series, had its origins in an intriguing conversation. At the end of Secret Agent's run, someone asked Patrick McGuhan what a secret agent does when he retires. Taking it literally, McGuhan inquired with Parliament members, discovering a peculiar perspective that fueled the creation of The Prisoner. The notion of taking care of retired agents to prevent defection became the seed for this enigmatic series. 
Filmed over a year in the picturesque North Wales resort village of Port Marion, the prisoner's unique setting added a layer of mystique. Inspired by his experience filming Danger Man episodes there, McGuhan chose this location strategically, contributing to the series' distinctive visual appeal. While the world television premiere occurred in Canada on Sept 5, 1967, a lesser known fact adds a nuance to the series' debut. Airing on the CTV television network, it preceded the UK premiere by 24 days on Sept 29, 1967, on Associated Television Midland. This early Canadian unveiling hints at the global anticipation and intrigue surrounding the prisoner. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the series' inception, filming locations, and premiere timeline offer a deeper understanding of the factors shaping the prisoner's enigmatic narrative and unconventional storytelling. Ranked 7 in TV Guide's list of the 25 top cult shows ever, The Prisoner made a significant mark in television history. This 1967 series, known for its enigmatic narrative and unconventional storytelling, captured the imagination of viewers around the world. The cult status is evident not just in its fan base, but in official recognition, securing the seventh spot in TV Guide's prestigious list. The village, the central setting in The Prisoner, holds intriguing details that add layers to the series. One peculiar aspect is the presence of umbrellas among villagers and occasional weather forecasts, yet rain is only visually presented in the episode A, B, and C. This subtle detail highlights the meticulously crafted atmosphere within the show, where even weather elements are carefully controlled to maintain its mystique. Adding to the mystique, the village pub, named the Cat and Mouse, becomes a noteworthy focal point. Although it is showcased in the episode Free For All, its brief appearance adds a touch of detail to the carefully constructed world of the prisoner. The significance of this establishment within the series reflects the attention to detail and symbolism woven into its narrative. The prisoner's journey from the picturesque North Wales resort village of Port Marion to global recognition is noteworthy. Filmed over a year, the series' unique setting contributed to its distinctive visual appeal. Notably, the Canadian premiere preceded the UK debut by 24 days, showcasing the global anticipation surrounding the prisoner. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into inception, filming locations, and premiere timelines offer a deeper understanding of the factors shaping the series. In conclusion, The Prisoner, with its cult status and meticulous attention to detail, remains an iconic piece of television history. From its ranking in TV Guide's list to subtle details like controlled rain and symbolic pub names, every element contributes to the series' enigmatic narrative and unconventional storytelling. As we embark on this intellectual journey through the enigmatic landscapes of a certain groundbreaking television series from the late 60s, I encourage you to pause and reflect. The interplay of psychological suspense, surrealism, and societal critique found within the narrative tapestry invites each viewer to weave their own personal connection. Perhaps you find echoes of your own struggles for autonomy in the face of conformity, or maybe the allegorical villages resonate with the complexities of your own existence. The timeless questions raised by the storyline are not mere relics of a bygone era. They remain poignant invitations to scrutinize our own perceptions of freedom and identity. What curious mazes has number six led you through? Share your musings, your reflections on the labyrinth of individuality, or the moments when the show's thematic depth struck a chord within you. Was it the enigmatic allure of the village or the rebellious spirit of number six that left an indelible mark on your psyche? In the spirit of communal exploration, let your thoughts echo in this digital space. Conversations are portals to understanding, and your perspective might just be the key to unlocking new layers of meaning for fellow seekers of profound storytelling. Thank you for delving into the mysteries of this timeless creation, for letting the whispers of the village linger in your thoughts. Your time and contemplation are treasures, and it's in these shared moments that the essence of storytelling truly thrives. Crafted with curiosity and shared reflection, 